Tonight, new details on last night's pursuit that turned into an officer involved shooting. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Sheena Loshudo. We're told a 40 year old suspect has died after being shot at by Providence police officers. Michael Pinto was wanted on active felony arrests in both Burrowville and Gloucester. A multi agency investigation is now underway. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill joins us live in studio tonight with more on what we've learned. Sheena Providence Police confirming this afternoon that the 40 year old suspect Michael Pinto died Friday night at Rhode Island Hospital after he was shot by officers following that chase. A police pursuit starts in northern Rhode Island and ends in the capital city with gunfire. This was the aftermath outside Woman and Infants Hospital Friday night after two Providence police officers shot the suspect. The pursuit began in Burrowville. Chief Stephen Lynch says the suspect, Michael Pinto, was seen driving near the town line around 730 Friday night. The pursuit called off until the chief says police saw Pinto on Route 146 South where officers attempted to arrest him. Pinto then drove his vehicle at Sergeant Henry Yakey. Yakey fires two rounds into the vehicle at that time. Police say Pinto allegedly drove off continuing south on Route 146 ending up in Providence on Dean Street. The operator Mr. Pinto then mounted the sidewalk and fled from Providence police officers operated in a reckless manner. After multiple attempts to stop the suspect, Providence Police Chief Oscar Perez says he got caught in traffic on Gay Street outside Woman and Infants Hospital when he drove up on the sidewalk for a third time. Mr. Pinto at this point, at this point placed his vehicle in reverse with Sergeant Rampone and the pedestrian nurse is still on the sidewalk behind him. It is at this time that both Sergeant Rampone and Sergeant Lopes discharged their duty weapons. Police say they then removed Pinto and his teenage daughter from this car, his daughter suffering a gunshot wound to her leg. Police say officers were not aware she was in the car. Pinto later died, sparking a major investigation. Whenever there is an incident like this, uh, the office responds. In fact, um, we actually have a team of lawyers. Uh, it's a complicated um, uh, matter. Frankly, there are at least four or five separate incidents along the way that need to be reviewed. Police say per protocol, all three officers who fired their weapons are now on administrative leave while the issue is being investigated. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News. We'll be tracking this for quite a while, but tonight we also spoke with our 12 News law enforcement analyst, Stephen O'Donnell. He talked about how police respond to the dangers they face while on duty in tense situations just like this. From all accounts, the, this person used deadly force with his vehicle um, towards the police, but also towards an innocent person that's a nurse. And that's a two-ton vehicle that can be used to kill somebody. And so the police felt, it, it, again, according to all reports, is that they felt um, somebody was going to die, that there was direct correlation to their safety and this person's safety, the nurse, and they used their weapons. O'Donnell says since the pursuit went through multiple towns, several agencies will be analyzing what happened here. That's when deadly force is used, including Burrowville, Providence and State Police.